Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. This is my first time hearing your voice. All right, I'll be starting the lecture for today. Hi, guys. Nice to meet you. I, my name is Sylvia Kim, and obviously I'm Korean, and I'm a producer of Korean Bros. Korean Bros. This is the channel that I'm in. <laughs> I make, yeah, so this is the channel that I'm operating right now. And I'm a producer of this um, content, and I'm on it too, here. <laughs> this is me. And I'm in front of the camera, but most of the time I usually edit the videos. Behind the camera, I film the videos and I edit the videos. And there's another international channel that you'd be more interested, but it's all in English, but we don't operate it anymore. This is so cringy. <laughs> okay, this is the one that I edited. And oh, that's me. <laughs> so this is the um, another YouTube channel that is for international people. We use English and we make videos about like different different contents, different culture, basically. But we are too busy to operate this channel, so we are like not doing it anymore. But we are planning to. So I'm I'm the operator of these two channels, and I have my own YouTube channel too. <laughs> uh, is there any Filipino here? Yeah, wait. Oh, 제가 안 보이고 지금 이 화면이 안 보이고 있었나요? 지금 여태까지 보이고 있어요? 나는 왜안 보이지? 내 스스로가? 뭐요 화면이요? 네, 이 화면이 안 보이고 있었나요? 아니요, 아니요. 보이고 있었어요? 보이고 아, 그래요? 네. 어, 보이고 있는지 어떻게 확인하지? 내 걸로 들어가서 화면 공유 중입니다. 뜨면 아, 아, 오케이, 오케이. So this is my own YouTube channel. And I'm going to stop here <laughs> so that it doesn't doesn't play. So I'm doing it just for fun for now. And this is another channel that I used to do. This is for Korean people, but I don't do it anymore. Like it's two years ago, three years ago, like three years ago. So, so I'm doing a lot of different uh, YouTube contents. And actually I saw a lot of videos that you sent me. I, I went through all the video links. So I checked all the things. 혹시 그... 명단을 좀... 어, 네네. 그럼 좋을 것 같아요. 아, 그래요? 아, 네네네. So, I'm gonna get a list of your video channels, YouTube channels, so I can go through all, like, one by one, literally. Yep. That'd be really nice. Hi, Filipino. I'm doing Filipino contents in here. This one. Wait. This one, I do a lot of Filipino um, things because I'm interested in Filipino culture. This is Jessica Lee, who was an um, ex-idol, <laughs> TMI. <laughs> oh, she's my friend. Anyways, so I'll be starting the lecture. I'll be opening your links. The first one will be Hi Hangu. Hi Hangu. Who's this? Who's, whose channel is this? Please wave your hand or say hi on the group chat. So this one, I watched it. And so the, the basic things that, um, that I felt about your contents were like, um, some of the videos have really high pitch audio and it distracted me so much. Like when it first start, the video was starting, but then the audio was like, boom, 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 like so much music and so loud. And I felt like, oh, that's not gonna be viral because it has really high volume of audio. Oh yeah, I, uh, that's yours. Okay, so I'll go through this one and let's start from this one, okay. 
What are the cultural differences that Koreans find outside of Korea? Oh, so this one, actually, I really like the name, name and titles, but I don't know who you are from this title. Like, um, is Filipino people, like, is it Filipino contents or like, is it like Spanish people talking about Korea? Who's talking about Korea? Like, it, this is interesting, but the naming has to be a little bit different. And maybe like, if you're like different country, you use your nationality. Like if you're from Brazil, like how Brazilians think about Korea, like, you know, like specific naming will be very important. And this one has some, some problems because, you know, this one is very interesting to women talking about Korea, but you're outside of Korea. So that was really good. But your, your audio is not like, not good for listeners, you know? So that's, and also, I don't know what are you talking about right now, because if I don't take a, like a deep attention to this, like this is, can be too loose, I think. You put subtitles on it. And, and also you're targeting international people. If you're targeting international people, the name has to be in your language, I think. Yeah, that's how you make it more viral. And the tags are so important. So this one was interesting to uh, value. And also you are good at cutting. That The cut was really good. So I hope you like uh, put your nationalities more specific and maybe um, put your face maybe. <laughs> put your face, that'll be more interesting. Okay, so I'm a journalist and I'm writing many articles. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Then you can be like, um, how journalists think about outside of Korea, like think about Korea outside of Korea, you know, like more specific, reveal your jobs, reveal your uh, face, like more specifically. And yes, audio subtitles and name. Yeah, yes, yes, that's the, that's the thing. And because you guys are already like good at basic editing skills, you, you guys are good at like cutting and um, making thumbnails. I'll be dealing with some tools, like subtitle tools, like how you make the motions so you can make it less boring. When you talk, talk about something, the subtitles like move here more like a professional way. I'll, I'll be teaching you guys at the end of this um, not video, it's not a video, live show. <laughs> I'm so used to saying like, at the end of this video, click and subscribe, so. All right, and the second one is, the second one will be, oh, what is it? Where is it? Oh, I found it, I found it. Okay, the second one, Catherine, Catherine. Catherine, okay. Hi, Catherine, say hi. Oh, that's you, hello. Okay, so this one, I don't, I don't know which one I watched last time. I think I watched the K-Beauty one. This is so interesting, like, I watched the K Beauty in Spanish. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So this is so interesting because you are you're doing it in Spanish, and you're actually doing the K Beauty like K makeup, right? So I think I really like the name here, and I don't know what it means, but I think if you're doing a tutorial, maybe like the walls, like the if you're making like the makeup contents, the walls and like the backgrounds are so important. Like maybe some light, maybe some like different um, like decorations on the back and maybe have some different cosmetics beside you. It'll be better for like a, for the look. And then um, I, I, I liked it actually, like, you know, 
but the audio, like when you make the, um, what, is, what do you call that? Like when you move something, when you move the stop on your desk, it makes too much noise, like, and that was kind of distracting. So maybe if you added this video, low the volume and then make some like nice transitions when you move to another scenes. Transitions are so important. So I'll be dealing, dealing with some good transitions, but you know, when you go on Premiere Pro, this is, um, okay, I'll, okay, this is, this is the thing that I used, let's say. <laughs> this is the this is the video contents that I use for a tutorial, but if you guys are making good transitions, like this is not sophisticated right now, but if you wanna do a more smooth transitions, I recommend to make a adjustment layer, and then like put something here. You can do a lot of preset. You can use a lot of presets if you download it from your um your tutorial video channels but this one is the one that I recommend if you're kind of like um, if you're too busy making something then I'll be like directional directional blur go on directional blur and it's gonna make a blur out of it directional blur so this makes it so much better than this one go with, without this, but this with the with this one is gonna be more smooth. You know what I mean? This is so so simple, but you can make it a little more sophisticated that you cared about the transitions. So it shows, like this one is just um effect. Maybe you can you can put on more stuff around this, and and I highly recommend um, After Effects. After Effects transitions because they're so it's already made by people, but you can use it for free. And if you do it, do it on uh, After Effects. It's so professional. It looks so nice. Like it makes so much good like differences here. Okay, so um, transitions will be important. And this one, um, the angles. Uh, when I saw your contents, not not only this one. But the angles are so important, but this one is a tutorial, but it feels like I'm not looking at you right here. I feel like I'm looking at from a little up, like, so it, it makes me feel like you're uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So maybe the angles should be a little like uh, straight to the angle and make the tutorial a little bit more like yeah, this one is like hiding half of your face, right? So the angles are really important. And I like, I liked it. Like, I didn't know Spanish people actually do Spanish contents, uh, like Korean contents in Spanish. So this one will be so interesting. If you keep uploading, the common thing about YouTube is uploading constantly, like nonstop. Don't stop, guys. <laughs> this one, the Korean channel that I showed before, like that was like 6,000 subscribers, but it made really good views. But I stopped after 10 videos or something. That's why I failed. I, I didn't unload anything, anything else. So you have to constantly reveal yourself and reveal something, show something constantly. And this one is like four weeks ago, three weeks ago, five. Yeah, so basically at least one video if you really want to be a YouTuber. Yeah, good job. And fashion, K-beauty. I like it. I like it. I think you can you can do a vlog as well here. And next one is hobby. Hobby TV. Okay. I found this in really interesting as well. So the best settings Actually, you are already good at editing. Hubby, where are you? <laughs> Say hi. Oh, that's you. Yeah. You're already good at like making contents. But the thing is that like there's no um, common things, common things on your thumbnail. So it doesn't show 
like you're the same person. You know what I mean? It's like it's really important for companies to make like a um, like the same similar look of the videos so that other people can think, oh, this one is made from this company and this channel, like the same person is doing the same thing. So this one has so much color, too many colors and too many like different things. So it's really good, but it shows like, I don't know which one is you, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't show how you, maybe this person, maybe this person, like, so show yourself and then background will be this and um, maybe less color or same design same design will be preferable and actually I like this one I like this make a video this is so high quality what I really want to praise about this content is that um, you actually care about the camera this camera is so good so it doesn't really distract anything and it's straight angle and you actually use a different side camera as well so that one was really good like because makeup videos are so I made makeup videos too um, like a long time ago Korean Bros but it's so easy to be distracted you know what I mean? Like makeups are like not something that you'd be like funny, like so entertaining, unless you're really like comedian like or something. But this one, I always put the highlight in the beginning. Always put the highlight in the beginning. Like maybe if you're making a tutorial, makeup tutorial, maybe um, put the complete look in the beginning so you can just, um, uh, attract more attention from people and use a really powerful music so you can um, like make them wait oh they're gonna start the makeup oh they're gonna start something something oh they're gonna show this one and that one <laughs> so that one was good and this one was I really liked it but um, the thing, the basic thing that you have to remember is that it's a layout from Premiere Pro. So if you go on Premiere, there is a, oh my God, <laughs> my face. Sound good, sir. Oh, maybe it doesn't have the audio right now. It doesn't have an audio right now. Well, you can do this one too. Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So the one, the, the thing that you have to remember is that um, everything has to be inside of this safe margins. This is one tip. So about Javier, Javi's video, this one is like under the line here, under the, like it makes a red line here, right? Because you go through this video, but it's really important to put your subtitles over up here in inside of the safe margins so it can make you feel like oh it's the whole screen but I'm watching the titles. Ah, ah, so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'll tell you again. So this one has subtitles right like right behind my mouth like the line right and it's not a safe margin it's really important to do it like inside of this safe margin if you go on right click it has safe margins here so it makes it more like a safe smoothing like feeling when you watch something um, more like organized and it's important to put it like middle 
and inside the margins always even the logo like company logo when we make company logos it always goes like up here inside the safe margins this is like uh, something that you have to remember because if it goes like here people feel like oh this is not organized automatically so yeah this is another thing that i wanted to mention and i liked it i think maybe you can use different phones so it, it can make it a little more like professional and i liked it because you um actually use the thing without the background of this picture so that was so helpful for viewers to understand but maybe different phones so phones are so important if i if i use this like i'm going to school this looks very very unprofessional guys maybe a little different uh phones if you want to be more like a professional i'll use something that looks better um maybe if i want to be a little cute <laughs> maybe this maybe this and then it doesn't show like okay so i'll make it a little smaller and then this is not a good design right right, right now guys but i'm just giving you like examples like this maybe but if you're like emphasizing something if you want to emphasize like hey guys i'm going to school right now but then then you i'll probably put like literally like it's so easy to make them like a little more like um like this to make them focus on my contents you know yeah, maybe this and maybe blur this part. I don't have to blur just to make it maybe like this, you know, like make them focus on your contents, like make them, they can't miss this. Like you shouldn't miss this, this product, then make it bigger, like a zoom and like an um, emphasis or sometimes cut the music. Cutting music is so important. Like when you make um, important things, like la, 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 and then let's start. Then you can cut the music or change the music, different transitions, and more like put more emphasis with the subtitles and music. You know what I mean? Okay, so that one was good. Yeah, I think maybe more constantly if you make more contents out of it i think you can be a really good vlogger um really good youtuber i you guys have like really good good potentials when i saw it i felt like wow i felt this too when i first started okay this one was the thing that i mentioned when it starts audio like peaks it you know like when you go on uh, Premiere, it has this, you know, volume, but it also you can just um, check it by this. If it goes more than like, um, let's say audio gain 10, this is too loud for viewers. This is too loud. So maybe a little more up. And some of you guys were making videos, but it doesn't have that much audio. It doesn't, I didn't know that you were talking sometimes. So this one would be important to uh, control your volume. This one was too loud. You know what I mean? And I think you got it from the template, but um, viewers feel so bored if it goes more than five seconds of intro. Like think about yourself when you see something for more than like, 10 seconds of intro you want to skip it right like the viewers feel the same as you guys feel so maybe make it shorter less than five minutes uh, not, not minute five seconds maybe 
three seconds are the best for intro, I think, my personal opinion. And this one, I really liked it because the camera, like, and the design is so, design is so cute, like, you know? Uh, this one has, like, different transitions, uh, different scenes, different scenes and so many different things. But the thing is, um, I think it doesn't have subtitles. So I don't know, like, for Korean people, it's just like Korean characteristics. If Korean people don't have subtitles, people don't really watch it unless it's like a really entertaining, like zoom in, zoom out, like so many effects because people feel like kind of bored. So maybe um, explain more about your contents, what you're doing, what you're planning to do. Maybe like, maybe here. Yeah, something like this. And also make sure that it's in, inside of safe margins, this one as well. But it doesn't show that much because of the background color. It's pink, so it doesn't show. I didn't, I didn't even know the subtitles were here. Okay, and I really love the thumbnails here. This is really good thumbnail, I think. Yeah, good, good job. I don't know how you guys make thumbnails. Do you guys use um, Photoshop? Photoshop, mm. maybe like, uh, like same design, like always, like give the same concept, same feeling about yourself. If if you are the main character of this, yeah, and this one as well. Okay, that one was good. And maybe camera, if you get a better camera, it's so much better. Yeah, so so much better. Okay, the next one is diary. I think I'm you. I'm spending too much time on the first few uh, things, so I'll go through a little faster, so I can uh, go through all of them. Diary of Igbo Korean. Am I reading it right? Is it right? So, this one. I think I watched this one. Celebrating my love for Korea on my birthday. Actually, this one, I really want to praise about how you talk. This is uh, how YouTubers should talk. Like, it's not about like certain way of talking, but it's like, you feel like, when I watched it, I felt like I'm actually talking to you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just like a format of something because YouTube is something that you should interact. So, uh, you are doing it so good when you are talking like to the camera and you are like this one is like you know like and you're like showing it this one is more like entertaining I think to watch but the um, things are like the title should be more like um, maybe more general because you're starting your YouTube if it's just like it's my birthday today and hi then like who are you you know what i mean <laughs> so maybe use your nationality your like age or i don't know if you're a fan of something uh, reveal your characteristics more on the title and then you can talk about your birthday things and everything any vlogs and this one but i think I think what kind of music are you are you guys using? Are you guys using the um, okay? Wait, do you guys know about this? Like when you go on studio, there are music sections that you can download from here. Like you can actually bring a lot of music and sound effects here. And music is so important to um, interact with people. So. I don't recommend rock or ballad or electronic music unless it's like a makeup tutorial. Makeup tutorial, you guys can use like electronic music, but it can be very like too distracting because the sound like has a, a lot of peaks on it. Yeah, I want to see you more. Yeah, keep on, keep on making videos. 
five taboos peculiar to Koreans. Oh, I really love this name. I like the title. This has to be like something like very general things that you can attract people's attention. This and this one is good. Thank you. <laughs> and next one is let's see. Wonder. Oh, you guys have only two videos. Okay. I think I watched the two. Oh, this one. Oh, you're so good at Korean. Yeah. This one has a uh, very low volume. You know what I mean? This one has very low volume and uh, it feels like you're on a filter with a camera phone. But maybe without a filter, when you make a YouTube videos without a filter, just use your phone. It's so much better, better quality, more organized. And this one is good. Like, when you talk, show something, some images, overlap something. Like people are like thinking different ways. So you can put more subtitles, even though they're like, even though you think, oh, this is too much subtitle, but people can read it really faster, so much faster than you think. So this one is good overlapping. Yeah, maybe with a normal camera without a filter will be nice. And maybe if you're a fan, I recommend my friend's channel. So he was Joyce Twitty. Yeah, he's my friend, right? He's French and he was not a YouTuber. When he, wa he was in Korea, like a few years ago, 2015, he was not doing anything like YouTube or anything. He grew up like this just because he made constant, constant like content and if you see this he makes it so like um so similar right even though it has, has different colors it shows his face and the naming will be like so constant like and he really loves korean culture so he does like some interviews and he's a fan of like a bts so he makes contents um that he is interested in something so reveal more things about yourself, characteristics of something that you have, you can share with other people, okay? This is one of the examples. He was not a YouTuber, guys, really. Like seriously, he didn't have that many subscribers that time. And now he's doing it like really constantly on a regular basis. Uh, I don't know exactly, but it says, uh, you see, if you see this title, you can you can be automatically interested. Like, le metro en Corée. I, I speak a little bit of French, but I'm not good at it. So this is like f comparison of Korean subway and French subway, right? And automatically you you're like, oh, oh, this is interesting. There's some similarities and different things. Maybe he's he has some experiences because you know from this thumbnail you can tell, like he went to. Korea. So making a thumbnail that it can show a little bit of your experience and you can share will be important. Um, and next one is oh. oh, okay. And this one, you see the good layout and similar feelings. But the thing is, I don't know what it says on the, like below the pictures. You know what I mean? It's not readable. So thumbnails have to be very simple and like good look, you know. Um, Buzzfeed is a good example for it. Buzzfeed is not good doing well these days, but Buzzfeed is an example for good thumbnails. Look, uh, this one, like it doesn't have that many words but at the same time, it has, like, it shows the simple things automatically. It catches the attention, like, the question mark, worth it, you know? Then they're going to reveal, like, if it's worth it or not. Like, just make some questions. And this one as well. This one is good. It's a good thumbnail. And, yeah. So, like, 
take a look at companies' channels, really big companies' channels, so you can um, think of the thumbnails that you can attract people's attention. More like a technical, technical way. Yeah, thumbnails have to be really technical. It, it's like you, you picked it, but honestly, for other people's eyes, it doesn't look that appealing. So, you know, you can actually take a look at different, um, different companies, thumbnails, and how they design, how, what kind of phones they're using, where they put the, the um, what do you call that, the subtitles on the thumbnail. Yep, and I liked it. This one, I liked it because you are talking as well. Yeah, you're talking so straight to the person. So I felt like I'm talking to you as well. Yeah, this one is a good characteristics for YouTubers that you can make people feel like, oh, we are in a conversation. So, you know, like you already feel familiar with this person. Yeah, rice water challenge. I don't know what it is, rice water challenge, to be honest, but I think if you're doing like a challenges, I think make some like a series of the challenges so you can do like a lot of different challenges in raw so people can see like one of your videos. Oh, and she did this too. She did this too. Oh, I'm going to subscribe. You know, well, that one was interesting. And maybe thumbnail this thumbnail like uh, I think make your face bigger maybe I'll use this one and this one or this one and this one and then one word below that'll be really nice okay and next one is mini and mood minion minion mood is it French okay so this one Oh, I love this. I love this. You know, like this was so like relaxing, even though I don't watch that many like um, vlogs because I make vlogs. I don't, I don't watch other people's vlog that much, but this one was so like relaxing. This is so like, I think this was the thing that um, you wanted to share. Like you're having a relaxed day for this day. But you know what? There's so many things in one screen, like so many words on one screen, I should say. Like people read it so much faster than you think. So if you put this much, like this many sentences, they already read it. They're not curious anymore about your contents. So I usually, when I put subtitles, I usually do it like by phrases, phrases by phrases. And also, um, if if I really want to make subtitles, I do it like um, I talk about it. I talk something, but I make it more like you know. For example, I'm gonna show you how to make a vlog. I set it here. Then I'll make the subtitles like. So the subtitles will be like how to make a vlog lecture sure. maybe this too yeah and then middle and then go here here this is not a good design guys <laughs> but if I need to make it maybe more like a, oops, what happened? My Premiere Pro stopped right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll give more information than what I say. That's how you make it more uh, entertain entertaining and also more like, uh, you don't need to wait until that subtitle finishes. So this one was interesting and fine. Um, maybe safe margin again, this one. And I really love the color and you have a drawn. I saw it. 
I love it it's so much, so relaxing. But honestly, when I finished this, when I finished watching it, I felt kind of like, so who is the main character of this vlog? You know what I mean? This person, obviously, but if you don't, like, if you don't know from highlight, it doesn't really show that much. So maybe like do intro with your face first reveal more and then go on like essential like scenes sceneries the things that you want to share actually like yeah this is a good vlog keep keep doing it i love it okay and but oh one thing one thing that you use a korean title right but you're targeting who Is it your, so here as well, it uses English. So I felt really confused. Like the language has to be like the same or at the same time, you can change your language setting. Do you know how to change your language setting? So if, if you're an English user online, it pops up, the title pops up in English. If you're a Korean user, Korean pops up. So you can make the setting like if you go on here, if you um, go on your YouTube studio and, oh, can I use this? <laughs> I'm sorry. This one, you can change your, you can change your um, like subtitles, uh, not subtitles, the title of the language. You can change your language here. For example, like I want to do English, maybe oh, Korean, you can change it. But at the same time, you can change it with a different setting if you go on to YouTube Studio. So check it out one by one. There are so many languages and it pops up. You don't need to worry. It pops up in English if you're an English user. So maybe use the same language for uh, the title and the contents and how, which, which nationality you're targeting is so important. Just think about it. Am I talking to Koreans? Am I talking to my national people? Like, is it better for me to use this language? What title will be more interesting for them? You know? And the, the French friend that I mentioned before is targeting only French people. So he uses 100% French and he put subtitles titles and everything in french so that it can make um more viral videos for uh youtube french youtube uh viewers and next one will be oh okay this one was a cover like song cover and I found it so interesting. I love this design. I love this design. I wanna uh, compliment your like really charming design on your banner. And this one was a cover. I really love singing too. <laughs> and I felt you. I think you're, where are you from? Erica, hi Erica. So like this one was a this one was interesting to see because you're singing in Korean. Oh, and but the audio quality was a little like disappointing to be honest like because it's a cover it's a cover the audio quality has to be more like more 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 professional than anything visual contents if you're doing a cover so um like maybe have some subtitles you know when you go to a karaoke there are some subtitles that read your um, lines That'll be really interest. Uh, that'll be nice to put here, and also 
if you are this one as well, the title has like I don't know which which um, nationality you're targeting. If you want your viewers to be Korean, maybe do it like 100% Korean, and then switch it to English subtitles, like on the setting only. Mm. So maybe like. Oh, Mike is not so, 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 if it's just for singing, it's just for singing, it's not too expensive. I looked in the internet, so if you're interested in covering something, maybe a little more like good equipments are better, will be nice. And I found it so interesting you sing Korean songs. Are you guys good singers? No? <laughs> All right. So next one, Christina. Hi, Christina. This one was, I was really confused because it makes so good quality videos. It was like a really good production. So I was like, oh my God, this is like a really good production. It was like a documentary almost, almost like a, what do you call it? Like advertisement. This one, you're already professional. So maybe, so, um, so you're good at editing programs. And what, the question you sent me was like, I wanna create timeline settings. Timeline settings, quit effect, effects and transitions without after effects. To be honest, if you're using like really professional like skills and editing things, and if you, if you already have a good equipment, I highly recommend using After Effects. Yeah, you can do it in Premiere at the same time, but you, if you wanna do a really sophisticated transitions, and if you wanna do a, like a really nice organized quality videos, uh, After Effects are good. But if you wanna do it, use presets on Premiere. This is already really good, yeah. This is amazing, but I honestly don't know what it's about. You know what I mean? Like, like people working hard or like, a, I don't know. I don't, so when you make contents, be simple and be more straight about your topics. Like, I don't know what it means by by cocoa. I don't know how, like, Yeah, I honestly don't know. I watched it three times. I still don't know. Yeah, maybe like more straightforward. And I really love this video as well. So if you're doing something, do it as a series. Do it like a full line. If you're doing a dance cover, if you're doing a song, music, mm, like singing cover, do like a make sections. Make sections here, there, you know. Like if you go onto a really big company and uh, entertainment, you can see the sections here, right? Make the sections so people can see the other categories and that you're doing this as well. Like this one is campaign, this one is like comedy, this one is like a, like TV shows, you know? How to organize your YouTube channel and how it looks, the layouts, everything. And next one. I think I need more time to go over all of your videos. Oops. Why is it not? Okay, my favorite Korean products. I love the title. Perfect. Maybe l shorter intro will be nice. Oh, I love it. How did you do this? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. But I don't know why you put your subtitles up here because there's so much empty spot. Then you'll have to make it like a good angle, talk to, talk to you straight, like angle. And then subtitles over here makes it more easier for viewers to read. And 
if you're doing if you're showing the products maybe film your product separately as well so you can show it like different angles only like only the products so you can uh, make it more like obvious that you're using this and people can see it more clearly and yeah also soul trip i think it's more like a diary right am i right if you're doing a diary if you don't want anyone to watch it then it's fine for like the titles to be anything but if you want your viewers to watch it and if you want to be a like a youtuber i think the the most important thing is the thumbnail and the language of the title and the how you name it how you put the titles yeah so this one is like when i just see the thumbnail i don't know i didn't know it was about products you know what i mean honestly it just showed i felt like you're painting something because people don't read it like really specifically so i thought i thought it was like a painting vlog i don't know but when i read it it was like oh korean product so if i make a thumbnail of this probably i'll make it like me holding the product and the the product picture on the back maybe and title will be like my favorite and heart heart <laughs> that's my style guys <laughs> heart heart and then the title will be like my favorite like my recommendations of korean products you know what i mean more straight and more obvious and more like you're gonna give more information that you want to share with okay next one Ah, I love the music, but also this one has too much, it's high pitched audio. When I first started, it's too loud. So I automatically just like, oh, volume down, you know? Even though this one is volume like this low, if it was this, my ears would be cracking, <laughs> you know? Oh, this is a really good highlight, but I recommend no blank, no blank scenes because, you know, people get bored. There's so many contents out there. This is like blank, only audio, like, like, unless it's like a documentary. Um, if you're making a documentary, I highly recommend it. So I honestly think making a highlight fast that, not fast, like, uh, more simple like so much more simpler and that you're gonna show the things in a short time will be important so so this is like a vlog right if it's a vlog i don't recommend a blank blank scene because people will be like what is this why why are you gonna show me like it doesn't describe anything you, sh you should be able to describe things in the beginning of the uh, video. And I watched this one, this one as well. I really love your coloring here, like pink and um, purple. This is so cute. And also it has the safe margins. I love it. <laughs> I think I need water. I love the design of this. Um, um, video. I actually like, I found it really interesting, but the contents, maybe if you're targeting your nationality people, it has to be more like straight forward. Yeah, I'm repeating the same thing, but this is so important. Like, why you're making tteokbokki? Like, is it good? Do you like it? Or like, is it your recommendation? Like, you know? Like, then I'll make the thumbnail, like, my favorite Korean food. How to make it, like, tteokbokki, you know? Ingredients, holding all the ingredients and, like, show it. This is how I make tteokbokki, and I will be entertaining. <laughs> so show it in the short clip in the beginning, like, highlight.
and I honestly I like this one as well. Uh, the coloring is so good, and how you how you put the sins out of it was so good. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be be cheering for you for your future YouTubing. Okay, and this one has some like a really similar look with the company channel, right? So it it caught my attention. And next one, Amelia. Hi, Amelia. Oh, this one too. So, so loud. If it was like this, I'll be screaming. <laughs> yeah, I love the music, but if you put as an intro of the highlight, please make sure the volumes will be easier for the viewers to listen. And when I watched this, I think I watched the, the oh, what was it? I don't know. This one was interesting because you're doing a K-pop dance cover. Honestly, I really felt like you can, you can do a really good cover next time if you make up not a vlog like you dance together with the people around you and like good like when you do a dance cover i highly recommend stabilizer like it doesn't shake that much and it shows like that you're dancing together are you guys good dancers <laughs> oh amelia so i watched you dancing too and i loved it Maybe you can do a, like a real more professional, like one thing is that makeup tutorials, if it's a vlog, it's okay, but makeup tutorials and like dance covers, song covers have to be really visually authentic. So visually you have to like attract people's attention. So high quality of video, visual contents will be highly recommended. So maybe a little more money, but if you really want to do a YouTubing, please uh, purchase something that is high quality and good production, like cameras. Because dance covers and um, song covers, song covers usually like audio, mic, like equipment are important. It's, it's okay if you're gonna do a vlog only, like you can just use your phone, but if you wanna, because I saw your passion, guys, you guys are really passionate about making uh, videos. With that passion, I would buy it. I would just invest a little bit more money and then like more good, like maybe stabilize, not stabilizer, but like a little better quality of camera and audio, yeah. I'll share for your dance, more dance covers. And next one is, sorry, I just accidentally exit the links. And what I really like about making content is that like I can show myself through this video but sometimes like when I get hate comments I feel like really um, like it's so confusing you know I'm on so many different channels and I make so many different contents I sometimes sing to I sometimes dance to I didn't dance until now yet yet I want to but I'm not a good dancer so but I do it just because I like it but when some people hate it like why are you doing this like it's so shit I'm like wow did you hate me that much <laughs> even though I don't know you you know like you'll be going through a lot of like processes of your feelings like roller coaster because if you become a youtuber like you constantly think about your life like, oh, what should I film? What should I, uh, how should I edit? How should I, like, who should I film with, you know? Then it's like a big struggle sometimes because you constantly think about that thing only, you know? But I honestly, like, just, 
I don't know. I like my my life <laughs> as a YouTuber. 네, 감사합니다. Yeah, it was just like a simple talk about my life, my feelings. <laughs> And next. Oh, 어디까지 했더라? What, where, where was I? Oh. Ah, 네, 네, 감사합니다. Okay, and oh, this one, Sea Hope, I remember. Oh, that was so loud, sorry. Yeah. This one as well. This is too loud. You make really good contents. I was so fascinated by this. This is actually a, like a really professional cover. Yeah. And this is Germany. And this title is so good because you put your nationality. People find it more interesting because you're, you're not just Korean. Good dancers. Wow. I want to dance like that too. Oh, amazing. What I really want to praise about this is that you, you know how to like move your camera angle for the dance cover. So I, I'm a really fan of Niana, if you guys are Filipino. Niana is a really big YouTube, a YouTuber. She got famous just because she is a really good dancer, but she used the title of sibling dance, sibling dance challenge. And she's so famous with the family dance and like Renge is um, her family, like a um, sibling. So she's so good at using like a, um, the camera angles for dance, for dances. If you see this, like she's so good at it. So you can take it as a reference. Niana is one of the thing, one of the dance covers that I watch all the time. I feel like, oh, I want to be like that too, but I can never be. So this one, look. Oh, she's just dancing. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> this one is just funny. But if you watch this kind of things, she's so professional. Look how the camera moves according to the sibling, the family moves. This is so important. Oh my God, I love this. Look, this is editing too. Camera is moving according to how they move, but they edited, edited this as well. Like, according to the angle, like they, they're like going up and down, up and down, you know? If you're a dance cover, if you're interested in dance cover, please take a reference about, about this. Oh my God, just because I opened it, I want to watch it. <laughs> I'm a pro viewer as well. I'm a pro subscriber as well. Okay, next one is Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Wow, actually, I really liked your contents as well. This is so, so pretty. Like, Hambu is so pretty. But the audio was a little... So if you don't have an audio, I highly recommend record it with your phone. Wait, you record it with your phone. Because, you know, I have my camera. So I got my camera, I put it there, and I don't have a microphone. So I use my phone for recording. And I put it together on the Premiere and then edit it together. But if you're using your phone for a camera, then yeah. I'll think about different ways. <laughs> but usually, like, I use my phone as an audio and it makes really good quality. Like, phones nowadays, smartphones are so good for cameras and, like, audio. So if you don't have a special audio, I recommend it with your phone. And for this kind of talking, like, I highly recommend zoom in and out. So if you take a look at this, oh, my premiere stopped. I need to, you put it on there. So highly, I highly recommend like zoom in and out. That is, yeah, zoom in and out. Like I'm just talking, but you just zoom in. Then you can, then you can like suddenly give like like uh, you can 
you can appeal what you're talking about. Sometimes like it feels awkward when you first zoom in your face like too much, but the viewers don't think that that way. Like it's just so quick. So you're just like zoom in and all that. I use that a lot for just talking videos. So this kind of talking, I highly recommend like um, more like sound effects according to the like how you talk. You know, when you laugh, maybe a little more sound effects. When you did something really crazy, emphasize with like zoom and different like transitions or if you did something really crazy, I usually use um bars and tone. Do you know what that is? Like the screen like beep like I just stop myself because I'm too crazy, you know? That is funny. Yeah, that is funny. I'll show you here if the if my premiere works. Okay, okay, thank you. So So this one, I wanna, I'm talking, right? But in this video, I'm so boring. <laughs> so I wanna make a difference, like makeup vlog. I said makeup vlog here, then, da -da 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 -da, and then zoom in, maybe 144. This is too much. You think it's like, oh, I'm zooming, zooming in my face too much, but it's not actually. Like people don't really, Think that like oh this that was too fast <laughs> how to make a vlog yeah you know and you put some sound effects it's so much better because you're using an editing tool you have to like take an advantage of editing right I'm so boring so I'll make myself more entertaining by zooming in myself and then like vlog guys you know and then out yeah this is one one of the tips that I use for my boring speech. And so, yeah, I think that'll be really nice. And you're very humble. Oh, that's so pretty. Interesting. Maybe if you're doing it as a, like a process, change your music according to it. Like first I'll be starting with this and the first music, the second music, the transitions. And also I'll show you like how I do uh, crazy transitions. You know, like I said, maybe I said something really crazy here. Maybe I, I fell down or something. Then I'll be like, I use bars and tone. If you make a bars and tone here, you can automatically make this screen and you stop yourself and it can be a good transition as well. Look, and it has an audio to pee. Like, you know, I did something crazy here and then pee and come back <laughs> you know and different music or different traditions you know this is so convenient yeah when you do something interesting or different things you know all right so next one will be um where was it nancy 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 oh i have too many I need to go all over. I need more time. Can you give me more time? <laughs> all right, so this one, I'll go quick. I'm so sorry. This is really good <laughs> uh, because how you talk is already eye-catching. Like, hey guys, you know, then hello today. If you're doing like a hello today, I'll be talking about this and that, then you can be a, maybe a uh, TV broadcasting system on the system. But YouTube is like how you show, like how entertaining you are, what you want to share like with the people, right? So I think um, this kind of intro was good. I feel like I'm talking to you. Yeah, transition, good. But yeah. Yeah, she was using the Zoom, right? Look. Do -do 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 -do. Amazing. Maybe for you, like, you're really good at it already. Like, you're, I think you can do a really good contents. But maybe design will be, can be a little more sophisticated. I don't do too much design on my personal YouTube channel because I just want to be crazy. 
<laughs> I just want to show how crazy I am, like how my life is interesting. But, um, oh yeah, you will go to the practice for purpose. And this one, maybe, maybe later on, you can get an advertisement from like Korean cosmetics. But if you're making like phones and design like this, it's a little bit more like um like they want you to be more professional because you're already a vlogger so maybe download some phones there are so many phones on google like download all of them not all of them there's so many but a lot of them and then use it as more like a professional way a little more like a sophisticated um edward do you know edward avila uh edward avila he is a uh, makeup he does a lot of makeup too like he is a good reference as well and also if you go on makeup tutorial there are so many makeup youtubers and you can actually like take a reference here pony is really good so like how they use subtitles Take a look and you can use cc as well cc is like not on the premiere not on the video contents you can use it by us by the youtube system cc like the subtitles you can choose like different languages you can switch it you know yeah, you can make it that way too so just take a look she put subtitles like like here It's like a long time ago. <laughs> I'll show you more recent ones. Anyways, um, take a lot of references from other people. I watch a lot of, I personally watch a lot of YouTube videos, even though I'm already a producer of Korean Bros and I'm um, doing my YouTube channel, but I watch more than 10 videos a day. Yeah, seriously, I watch it for fun, but at the same time, I watch it as a reference. Oh, she did the transition like this. Oh, she's funny just like this. Oh, they did this. I honestly really like her. <laughs> she is so good at making YouTube um, video contents. She's so famous. You see, video visual contents are so high quality because it's a makeup tutorial. All right, next one. Next one, open, okay. Oh, ah, I remember, yeah. This one, you are, oh, so good, this is so good. Oh, this is amazing, like really good production. Um. Honestly, there's too many words on your thumbnail. Maybe make it less and more. There are too many graphics. There are too many graphics. Like there are too many, um, you know, like squares. But how you become really like viral, how your videos become viral is that like they want to see you, you know, they want to see you like on company channels. People want to see the contents. Like the topics are important, but this one's like you are the main character. Then use yourself a lot, like reveal yourself. And this is, um, I really liked it because the language is the language you're targeting your nationality people, right? So I think this is this has a, like a really good um, audience, like you're targeting audience like really specifically. So I like that one. I like how you talk, so cute. <laughs> and I think it's just about like how you name it, how name the videos because you're already good at like editing and the designs are really good. So I think if you want to be more like, um, if you want to 
be more on YouTube, like people's like recommendation, then I think the uh, naming, the title, and the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Cecil is my friend as well. Cecil, she got her video got really viral. BTS. She touched BTS. This one. Look, look at this. <laughs> I touched him high-fiving BTS, you know? This is very, like, if you made it more like a square, just like BTS pictures and, like, graphics only, this video won't get too viral, I personally think. But this one is like, I am here and BTS is over there, and high-fiving, the title is high-fiving BTS. That was, like, very noticeable, right? People will be, like, really well, interesting interested in it so yeah I think this kind of thumbnail is good and like make the title more straightforward oh we got only five minutes left so I'll go really quick I'm so sorry but I talk about it a lot oh, hola. I talk about all the things the basic things are already out I talked about like uh, the equipment first of all and zoom in, zoom out, highlight, making highlights, basic things like that you want to de describe, make it a highlight, and maybe too, too much volume in the beginning will be not like so nice for YouTube contents. And thumbnail, make a similar looks, similar looks and make it like kind of serious. I really liked your videos too. Yeah, this one is so good. Maybe you can use some music and sound effects. It doesn't have that many like effects right now, but I honestly enjoyed this. Wow, your eyes are so big. Eyes are so big is a, is a compliment for <laughs> Korean people. <laughs> wow. I think you can make really good like a makeup tutorial from this angle too. Yeah, she's eating like Korean snacks. Yeah, so maybe this thumbnails are really good. I like it. Yeah, this kind of thumbnails I highly recommend it. And next one is Ah, I love this too. You are on BuzzFeed, right? Are you here, Kenzie? I watch your videos on BuzzFeed. So on BuzzFeed you were talking about like how Koreans live in America, how grew. But what I felt about your videos was like the topics the topics are quite like it can be more entertaining i think so like my top five k-pop songs my top five favorite k-pop songs this is good but like maybe recommendations like maybe it can be my top five and this is like the thumbnail good thumbnail maybe change the title like what I, uh, my K-pop songs, like my K-pop song recommendations. So that Korean, like the viewers who don't know K-pop that much would be interested, like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna recommend some music videos. And she, he made a lot of contents and I was so fascinated. I don't have that many videos except my, except for my company videos. So I really love your passion. Like keep doing it and I love it. Maybe do some like a more viral contents, trendy ones, yeah, trendy, and make some collaborations with other people. You can make a lot of good contents, I think. And control Z. I love the name, control, control Z. It's like going back, you know, when your primer doesn't work. Like go back, go back. I liked it. Oh, honestly, I. I like your idea. Like, if you don't know what to start with, if you don't know, like, I want to deal with K-pop, but I don't dance, I don't sing, then reaction videos are really good. Reaction video, people are really, like, interested in reaction videos. And this one, yeah, you zoomed in and out. You're already a big YouTuber, wow. Yeah, and the thumbnails are very similar, yeah. So I think there's nothing that I can say about these videos, but 
maybe like good quality of camera will be nice, you know, so it doesn't crack on the screen. It kind of blurs when you move, right? But if you use our camera, it'll be so nice. This is so good, yeah. So talented. Katrina, Katrina, and hi, Katrina. Oh my god, I love your, I love how you made yourself a banner. This is so cute. This is, when you first go on to like YouTube channel, people are like fascinated, like they're really focused on the look, the, the channel look. And it gives like a, oh, oh, she's like a really entertaining, entertaining person. It gives the vibe, it gives the atmospheres, and it gives the feelings about it. So making a good banner is another tip too. I honestly wanted to do a lot of like reviews about your channels, but sadly I don't have that much time. This one, I, I honestly thought like, this is already really good. Like, yeah, you know how to attract people's attention. This is amazing. Yeah, I loved it. This is amazing. This is honestly, you're, you have everything that I mentioned right now. <laughs> So, um, I don't know what to say. I'll just watch her <laughs> vlogs. And the things I didn't really, I couldn't do, I couldn't deal with a lot of like technical things because I really wanted to do one by one for today. But if you give me like DMs and anything, if you give me any messages or emails. <laughs> oh, there, there, there. I, sorry guys I was just talking okay and uh, so I'll just do 10 minutes more just to go through all of all of your videos because there are five more people but the basic things I talked about it how to make like better contents and this one like, I really love it. Like, there's nothing I can talk about. You already got verified too. Yeah. If you get more subscribers, you can get verif verification as well. Yeah. I'll talk about it more, like about different channels first. Um, Stasha. I love this too, but it's cracking a bit, a bit here. So maybe make it like a... Uh, Make it like a really big size of photo, big size, like more, more clear. Oh, oh, this is clear. It was just my, my screen. Yeah, this is clear. This is so cute. Like how you design, like everyone has different design, like different design, like uh, from your own like vibes. And I honestly, I don't design like cute, and I feel so, like, I feel so happy whenever I see, like, really cute designs on the, on the video contents. Oh, this font is quite, like, interesting. <laughs> it's, like, a little bit squeezed, a little down. So maybe a little, like, use the, like, a not squeezed ones, like, normal ones. Yeah, this is interesting. And also, uh, there are a lot of people, like a lot of you guys are like, uh, a lot of guys, a lot of you guys made a lot of contents, but honestly, constancy is more important. Make constant videos, like, uh, just like Revista, you're doing it like really, really regularly, even like two days ago, right? Keep people updating about your life and how you think, what your idea is like, right? And Kaza, I really love this animation too. Like, amazing. I watched it too. This is so cute. Like, and it already has a really good high quality video contents. Yeah, 
I like it. I like it too. You guys are so cute. <laughs> I love it. Kanzang oh, kirambo. That looks so nice. I want to eat it. And this one was so like relaxing as well. I watched it. Yeah, this one is Russian. You're targeting Russian people. So like think about the contents, like think about your nationality. Think about the people where you're from. Like what do they like? Like what kind of things they uh, would want to see? Like keep reminding yourself like, oh, I was interested in this one. Then would they be interested too? And Luth, Luth, I think I watched this one. Yeah, I watched this one. And Sarah. Hi, guys. Oh, so cute. You're Filipino, right? <laughs> I can tell from your accent. So this one, it was so cute. Honestly, I figured out, like, um, when I was doing my YouTube contents for my company, every nationality has different sound effects they like and they use a lot. So for Koreans, we use like ting, like that kind of things. And Filipinos use like like cracking, like cracking up sound. Like every nationality has different sound effects that are popular in their country. So use your own language and Google it on your like uh, on YouTube. You can Google it. You can find it on YouTube. So, for example, chokalum is the sound effect in Korean. There are so many sound effects, but it's kind of different than other nationalities. If I want to do like an English sound effects, yeah, it shows different sound effects. Sound effects. You can download this and you can use it. So, um, find out your nationality people's taste about like sound effects and music and make it like fit your on your contents yeah that'll be really nice there are not many videos for you guys right now but um if you keep uploading and if you make better like naming and titles it'll be so much so much more helpful two more two more two more left oh that was so good Thank you, thank you. I love it. Like, she just started the video by cl clapping twice and then, like, sound effect. It already catches the attention. You know what I mean? Like, she didn't do anything special right now. But that one, like, from this look, maybe she will do some makeup tutorials and this kind of things, animations, like, and graphics, her face, and just specs. And, yeah, this is... This is good, keep doing it. But find out the contents that your people would like. Yeah, this is amazing. Amazing. And next one. I thought, honestly, I thought it was like a company channel because of the uh, quality. Amazing, this is like a company Oh, this is really good editing. So honestly, because I'm Korean, I watch a lot of tutorials. Even, even me, I watch a lot of tutorials. So like, if I need some type, some type of like graphic designs, how to design, how to make my titles better, how to make subtitles better, I use, I use um, this, this YouTube because she teaches me a lot of things but in English if you just not tutorial premiere tutorial uh, one of the things that I really like I re recommend was oh it doesn't show right now oh he is really good too yeah he is a really good tutorial he has good, really good tutorials, and I don't remember. I'll let you know, guys, like when I remember. See, this is interesting. <laughs> How to, yeah, shoot your head off. I 
watch this kind of things too so you can get like more skillful on your uh, premiere pro so this is it cassie i think i watched this one did i watch this one oh this one too yeah i watched it reactions start with reactions and yeah reviews are good like mukbang maybe and like products what kind of recommendations that you want to do yeah gotta be nice oh oh you're filipino too yeah interesting <laughs> So this one has too many things on, on the thumbnail. You now you got it, right? So make your make your solid thumbnail that you can go on continuously. And I watched it. Korea in a Filipino home. This is so interesting because people are interested in K pop and Korean life. So you can do you can attract people's attention by more simple things like um um, maybe Korean, maybe Korean products, Korean products to Filipino subscribers, like recommendations, what you need to buy in Korea, what you need to experience in Korea, what kind of like food you need to eat if you come to Korea, what kind of dramas you recommend for your nationality people, right? Oh, I, I watched this too. But so whenever I when I watched this one, I feel like, oh, you like I thought he was talking about like a really, really like a sad story because of the music. But I think it was not a sad story. Yeah, I think music, maybe make a cheerful use a cheerful music. It, it should fit on your, like, on your speech and everything. I love your contents. Like, you guys are so inter inter interesting. I feel like I already know you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. So there are, there are going to be some surveys after. Oh, there are going to be some surveys. Is there any link? Ah, you're, uh... The survey will be emailed by your email from us to you guys. It'll be email. It'll be on your email. So please check out your inbox and I'll do some survey for for today's lecture. If you didn't like it, if you like it or not, like if it was helpful, if it was not helpful, sorry, I'll, <laughs> I'll try my best to be more helpful for the next time. And also it's just my experience and my personal experiences because I'm operating like many YouTube channels. So it's not so perfect. It's not going to be the answers, but it's just how YouTube works. So I hope you guys uh, like took the reference from me. And I honestly talked, talked about everything. I wrote it down from what I saw about your like YouTube com contents. I think about it. Uh, I talked about it all. Maybe next time I'll talk about like more designs and phones, coloring, and how to make better Photoshop, like maybe if you have any chances for today. Oh, no. So I missed some questions. I didn't really read all of them, so I missed some questions. I got four questions. Mardith, would you share some good phones to use? Yes. Yeah, I'll be. Phones, if you just, phones for free. If you just go on, if you just go on like Google, you can find a lot of it, like a lot of it. It's just your personal taste. So you see, for like a thumbnail, like a really big title, you can use this kind of thing. But for subtitles, it's not so perfect. This is not perfect. <laughs> this, this is like, it's like a food. <laughs> Phone looks like a food right now, pudding or something. You, know? you can have a lot of different things here and you can use it for free. You know? So 
um, you can Google it here. And also, second one was, is there any way to normalize audio automatically? We have to do it manually. Honestly, you have to do it manually, but I use a shortcut here because I changed, I changed the audio too. I changed the audio like a lot, many times, because this one is too like loud and this one is too like quiet. So I make a change here, like auto gain, but this one is so complicated. You have to do it all the time. So I use a shortcut one here added and keyboard shortcuts and i put like english maybe maybe two number two audio gain audio gain one here then you can automatically do like number two and then find it really and you can do it like all together too like here like here then it's automatic, almost automatic, okay? So how can I make the sections by making playlists? Yeah, if you go on to uh, YouTube Studio that your, your channel is in, you can find your like sections, you can develop all the like sections, you can categorize it. And then please tell us how to edit the audio as well. I don't, I don't usually like edit audios, but you can use it like this. You can, I don't usually like edit it, but you can cut out, you can make it like a fade out, fade in. Yeah, that'll be my answers for you guys. And if you have any more questions, please DM me. I'm really happy to help you out. And if you guys make, if you guys have any like more questions or if you need any advice, I can give you, like I can, I don't know like if I can respond it right quick like right away but I'll try to read everything All right so thank you guys and please check out your inbox email and bye bye see you guys next time thank you for today